Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the 3D animations that you made in iClone 8 3D animation software into the Unreal Engine 5.4 which were included all of the all of the facial expression morph targets animations and also the lip sync animation like this. Lip sync testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. Now you can see the facial expression and lip sync. Now everything were imported into the Unreal Engine 5.4, which is included all of the morph targets. Just have a look. Now the lip sync animations, morph targets, the facial expressions, morph targets, and also the body motions. Now and finally, I'm going to show you how Lip to sync testing. One, how to make it two, in three. your Unreal Engine Five testing complete. game scenes. Now you can see this NPC is that I imported it and set it as NPC at here. It will just perform the sound, the voice, and also the animations with the facial expressions. Right, everything will be really easy. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Of course, the first step, you need to get the Icon 8. The Icon 8 is a professional software which allow you to generate any of the lip sync animation and facial expression animations, which together with the body motions and export as FBX. You can get the Icon 8 from freedom3d.net. This is my website. So I already put the link to get the Icons, the Creator Creator 4, and also any of the related plugins in freedom3d.net you can get it from there and now i'm going to show you the step by step from beginning if you love my videos tutorials about the 3d animations and also the 3d game developing and also the 3d modeling you can just subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. Now everything will start from beginning. And as there are more, I'm going to just use a fresh new project in Icon 8 3D animations and I will apply a 3D avatar from here. Then I'm going to apply some lip sync, the talking animations. Right, I will click here, click create script. This is to create the lip sync animations for mouth. As there are more, I will just create a TTS, a text to speech. And I'm going to type the voice at here. The voice mode, I will choose a female. The pitch will be maximum. I will just type it here. Lip sync testing one, two, three, testing complete. All right, then I click OK. Then this 3D avatar is going to generate the lip sync. If I try to play, lip sync testing one, two, three, testing complete. Now, this is the lip sync. Next, I'm going to animate the facial expressions. I will just back to the zero frame and I will click the face key, click the expressions. At the zero frame, I click default then. After Lip a few sync. moments, click default again, then play. Testing. Then I will just give a facial expressions of angry. Then play one, two, generate a keyframe again. Sorry, this is for angry. Then three, back to the default testing complete. Back to the default again. Then complete. happy. I switch it to happy. Play. 
happy. All right, now I close and try to play everything again. Lip sync testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. Now you can see it already included the lip sync animations and also included the facial expression morph targets animations. Both are morph targets. Then, next I'm going to apply some body motions from here. Click the animations. Then I will choose motions, human female, perform, Edo. Then I will choose a suitable one. The changing pose. Drag and drop into this 3D avatar. Now, this is just one of the animations contents in Icron 8 3D animation. I try to play. Lip sync testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. Alright, so now I want these parts. You can see I drag and drop the range. I select the range and I want to export these parts and import into Unreal Engine 5.4 which, which I will export as FBS and also included all of the facial expressions morph targets and also the lip sync animation morph target all together with the body motions the whole part lip sync testing one two three testing complete all right to import it into unreal engine first you must export it from the icon i click file export fbx the target two presets you have to choose the unreal then embed the texture choose the range we only want the certain range from the 0 to 593 frame then I click export as demo I'm going to export it on my desktop the file name I'm going to name this as the model I click save and click OK. Now it is exporting the FBX file. Now the FBX file is already at here. Then next I'm going to export the voice. Click here. Sorry. Click render. Render. Export the audio. The format WAV. We just want to have the range click export for on the desktop name this as voice click save now the voice is already here the blue AV file and the 3d animations is set here model.fbx right now next I'm going to open the Unreal Engine 5.4 and as demo I'm going to just create a fresh new game project third person game project click create now the unreal engine 5.4 is creating a fresh new game project and now we just need to wait for a few seconds until it finish loads the new project here okay. now you can see it already finished loaded and the first what you need to do is just go to the window, content browser, just call out the content browser one and drag and drop to the bottom, go back to the content here. Then I will just create a, a new folder, name this as model 01, double click it here. So next we are going to import the FBX file, drag and drop into here. Then this is the FBX import options. You have to expand, expand the advanced and make sure you import the morph target. 
This is very important. Then unexpand it. The import animations, you must make sure you take it. Then just click import all and just wait for a while. Now it is importing. Alright, once it finished imported, it is going to pop out a message lock. You just need to close it. And now we can have a check. Alright, so now the animation sequence is here. If I double click and have a look. Alright, once you see something like this, just because of the material is not yet set properly so now we set the material first we go to the skeletal mesh and then the material is at here just double click it all right just make sure you click the empty area the blend mode change it to mask then select the two sides at the same time Just look at the opacity and the opacity mass. Drag and drop the alpha to the opacity mass and everything will fix automatically. Now, I save and after that I back to the, the model. Now everything already fixed. Right now, this one also control S to save and close. Now we, we look at the animation sequence. Just have a look. Now we can see this is the animation sequence. It included the body motions and also included the facial expression morph targets animations and also the lip sync talking animations. Right. So everything already important. Next we can just test it in the game scenes, drag and drop the animation sequence in the game scenes. And we try to rotate it, press E, then you can rotate. Then try to play. Now you can see, wait. You play. You can see the 3D animations is already exported into the game scenes and what you need to do is import the voice. The voice is the WAV format here. It is not going to embed it inside the FBX file. So you have to import it just separately. Drag and drop to here. The voice is already in Unreal Engine 5 and the Unreal Engine 5.4, it is a game developing software. You have to use the blueprints or any of the coding script to just program it to play the 3D animations together with the voice. All right, to make it easy, you can just drag and drop the voice at here. Then when you try to play, Lip sync testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. Now you can see it play together with the motion. Then you can just render in Unreal Engine and everything is not too complicated. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to export any of the 3D animations that you made in Icon 8 that included the the mouth talking lip sync and also the facial expressions morph targets animations and body motions into Unreal Engine 5.4 and make it available for your game project and you can render it in Unreal Engine 5.4 as well everything will just take it easy right it's really easy just like that you have to go through a material setting process the import and export options etc
Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!